more and more our people are entering the vicious poverty cycle. May I remind this noble house that it was a very first step of this administration providing 600 to 800 billion rupees in tax cuts and tax rebates that has les led us to the economic misery of our country. My fellow countrymen, time has arrived for all of us to unite. Stand up to make righteousness victorious. We have to defy and beat up dynastic politics. We cannot achieve these noble objectives and goals by mere statements, interviews, seminars and publishing of booklets. We have to walk the talk. We have to ensure our declarations and our visionary statements are translated and transformed into action policy. We have to put a stop to this deteriorating situation. We only have reserves amounting to the value of three weeks of imports. Isn't the government aware of it? Why is the government oblivious to this reality? That's because the government perceives, due to the majoritarianism that persists in the government circles, they feel extremely comfortable in their cushy and plush lives at the expense of taxpayers' funds. No one has a proper prescription to the foreign reserve issue. At this juncture, we are proud to say that Samagi Janabalavege and our economic team, consisting of preeminent economists and many who have walked the talk, especially our three distinguished members of parliament, Kabir Hashim, Harsha De Silva, Eran Vikramaratna, we as a team are in the process of formulating a constructive, progressive solution to the major problems that we are facing. We are discussing with domestic and international experts with regard to restructuring of country debt. We are speaking with partners and friends to ensure that we resolve the financial crisis through the participation of international political institutions and monetary institutions.